So, hello and welcome to another tutorial. So, today I'm going to be, and my name is Tanya Bakshi, and today I'm going to be talking about an app that I created. And this app was written in Swift, which is Apple's programming language for Mac OS X and iOS 9, or iOS 8, and it also works on iOS 9. Uh, so yeah, this app will essentially allow you to take a borrower's name, uh, an item name, uh, and also an image of the item that they borrowed from you, uh, and upload it all to a database on the web uh, so that you can access it from any other device uh, wh whenever you want. Uh, yeah, so this app is mainly targeted towards uh, people in you know grade 11, uh, grade 12, uh, that are trying to do computer science maybe, uh, making a project, that, and they need to upload images to a database. Uh, it would work for them. Uh, it could work for even professional app developers that are actually trying to create apps uh, that uh, need to actually upload images that the user gives them uh, onto a database, uh, stuff like that. Uh, and yeah, uh, I'm just going to go to my Mac now, uh, and you will see see the app in action. So as you can see here, uh, I have my iPhone here. Uh, and so I already have the app up and running. Uh, and so as you can see, this is a UI table view uh, in which all of the entries are put in. So we have Frank took my mouse and then a picture of the mouse. Travis took my, well, it was supposed to be marker, but Again, autocorrect made it mark it. Uh, so was, apparently he took my mark it, but there's a picture of a marker there. Uh, and then Tom took my glasses and then a picture of the glasses. And then Tim took my USB extension and then a picture of the USB extension. Uh, and so now that we have all these, uh, why don't we actually try uploading something? So just say we upload. And let's just say uh, the person of this name is uh, Frankie. And then let's just say uh, the item that they took were my headphones. That could work. So now I'm just going to choose an image. And as you can see here, I'm just going to take my headphones, take a quick picture. And then as you can see, it asks me if I want to take a retake or if I want to just use the photo so I can click on use photo. And as you can see, after a little bit of delay, which is one of the known uh, bugs in the app, uh, it will actually start spinning the UI activity indicator view, uh, which will tell the user that it's uploading. And also, this back button here is now disabled, uh, so that we cannot go back while it uploads, uh, because then it would be uh, in between an operation, and then the next time you would open the app, it would just uh, crash. Uh, so once this is done uploading, and again, sometimes it takes longer than other times, uh, but usually it's quite fast, 30 seconds to a minute at max. Uh, so usually this could be done in like 15 to 20 seconds. Sometimes if your Wi-Fi is slow, it's 30 seconds. And if it's really slow, or if it's a really big image, then it'll take around a minute. So as you can see, the uploading uh, bar is gone, and uh, the back button is now enabled. So if I click on back, uh, you will see that uh, the back button gets clicked, uh, but then we're still at the view. Like, what happened? I don't know. But what ha actually happened is it's loading up the images uh, from my website, and it's putting them into the table view. So it's downloading each image again, and it's basically putting each one into the table view one by one. So if I just wait a second, uh, this will, in fact, um, uh, just load up the entire UI table view with all the entries and we'll also have additionally Frankie took my headphones and then a picture of the headphones just so I can make sure that they're not damaged and just really make sure that they're mine uh, so yeah that'll load up in a few minutes uh, till then what we can do uh, is I'm just going to minimize that and let's just go oh as you can see it has loaded up uh, and as you can see, we have the classic uh, entries that were already there. Frank took my mouse, Travis took my marker, Tom took my glasses, and Tim took my USB extension. However, if I scroll down here, in just a second, sometimes it freezes up like that. Uh, just give me a second. Again, this is a pretty big app, so it does take some time to load up. So as you can see, I can scroll down even more, and it says that Frankie has taken my headphones and then a picture of the headphones. So now that you've seen a slight demo of the app, uh, let's actually get, let's just skim through the source code here. Uh, and as always, the source code will for sure be in the description, 100% on GitHub, like always. Uh, and yeah, so uh, this uh, app will essentially 
take uh, the Swift part and the Objective-C part, mix it together, uh, and the the, the iOS end, which is both Swift and Objective-C, will contact PHP. PHP will upload the image to a web server on my GoDaddy, and uh, ba the name, uh, the item, and uh, n the name of the actual image itself will go to the database so that we can store it. And then, uh, this is the UI for the app. Uh, you should see, you've already seen this, but we have the reload, upload, the name of the person, the item they took, and an image of the item inside of a custom table view cell. And then we have the UI for the uploading, which is the name of the, I the, name of the person, sorry, the name of the item. Then you can choose an image, you can go back, and it will tell you if it is currently uploading. Apart from that, we have ViewController.Swift, which will uh, do some basic stuff. You know, it'll, uh, it's basically the heart of the entire app itself. It controls the, the entire PHP and uh, the database and the web server. Uh, it just does all, everything uh, that its little branches uh, can give it. So in just a second here, as, as you can see, we have an extension to the string class, which will allow us to get specific ranges of characters, or actually just specific characters itself, uh, from strings. And also, uh, apart from that, we have a class view controller, which conforms to UI view controller, UI table view data source, and UI table view delegate. It'll also conform to UI navigation controller delegate and UI image pair controller delegate. Apart from that, this is uh, just all uh, some variables and IB outlets we are declaring. Then we have a function called view did load, and this function is called whenever we uh, whenever we run the app. Then this function over here is called uh, whenever a boolean updates, meaning whenever we're done uploading. This function over here is the reload function. It's called whenever we click on the reload button. This uh, button will basically hide the keyboard whenever we uh, touch somewhere on the screen. This uh, function here will get JSON values from my websites, or, or actually from the database, and put it into the table view. And this function will tell us how many rows in the section there are for the table view. And this function will actually be able to make a cell for each cell that's required in that table view. This IB action will allow us to start taking a picture. This function will allow us to uh, pick an image, and then we can put that from the image picker controller uh, to the actual web server itself and the database. And this will allow us to get all the contents inside of uh, the, uh, well, basically all the names of the images inside of the, I the inside of my, from my database. And then this uh, function will just allow us to parse out all those names from the, all the data. And yeah, that was really it for this tutorial. Uh, please subscribe if, you, uh, if you're new to the channel. Uh, like the video if you liked it. Uh, comment if you have any questions. You can even email me. And I will get back to you as soon as possible. And yeah, I hope you guys liked the Khan Academy, most importantly. And yeah, that'll be it. Goodbye.